this bit of concrete here is part of the French Maginot line, and there's, a, there's an underground complex from this entrance. I've got my snow shovel here, let's unbury it a bit. I can feel a stonking great draft coming through here. Uh, so it must be, must go somewhere. I've managed to get through a bit further, and I can see how far the snow goes on for. Uh, and I can also hear dripping water, which means to me that, at the very least, I need better footwear. So I got in uh, enough to see that the, this entrance was very snowy. Um, I could hear lots of running water. Um, and those are okay things, but I'm going to go and try and see if I can find a different way in. Um, and get my wellies on. So if we're going to do this, we seems like we're going to have to do it properly. Um, so I've got the full caving suit on, I've got a tackle sack. I think I'm going to try the snow entrance again, but I'm going to just do it as a squeeze. And I'm in. Uh, here was the squeeze. Here's the tunnel. Um, let's go explore. So here we are in the tunnels. We've got a little bit of uh, running water. This seems to be a drain somewhere. This is maybe the... And what have we got this way? Ooh, which way should we go? Here's the way we've come. Let's go this way. So I'm just keeping a really good eye on my floor at the moment. Never really can... Here's a reason why. That is a pool of water. That's not going there. So these are open manholes in the floor are kind of a risk. I've just got a bit of chamber here. This room has a lot of snow in it, which suggests to me it has an outside link somewhere. Uh, I'm guessing through this door. I might go and have a look in a minute. A bed there, very nice. The snow plus open manholes makes me a little bit nervous that this kind of landscape here could be a bit like walking a glacier, like there could be an open manhole just below that snow there and I wouldn't know. So we've got this way, we've got this way, and we've got this way. And you know, for all of the like water that I can see and was hearing, I was expecting there to be more. I thought, I thought there'd be more. I guess this has drained better than I, I expected. There's a manhole I'm just going to avoid. This looks like an electrical, oh, a heater. Transformers. What do you think this is? I feel like it's air con heating or air conditioning with a load of fuse boxes here, but I'm really just as unsure as you. Ferme, overt. I mean, this is definitely to do with the air conditioning or that kind of thing. I'm just in a tiny bit of water here. Let's turn right. Let's see what's around here. Um, let's just check our floor really carefully. Some random decay here. Not really sure what these things were. Probably furniture. Big ice icicle thing in the floor here. The big icicle thing here really gives you a sense of what the ambient temperature is down here. It's not very warm. Um, look, there's some more icicle. Um, oh, we've got some lino. Let's just keep watching the floor. Really cautious everywhere we go here. A little bit deeper water. Oh yeah, we've got some open... This looks like... Oh, this looks like an engine room. So we've got a big... Big open engine here, some kind of thing. I mean, I'm not going to, I don't feel like I really want to walk around this area of submerged thing, but pretty cool, not bad. Very well preserved. I mean, I guess that's partly to do with the, the water being and the temperature, I don't know. How are we finding this so far? Is it all right? Are you, you not too scared following me? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm 
fairly chill. Um, I feel like the main thing down here that can hurt me is me, so I'm going to watch help for me. If you see me behind me, let me know. And so we've got another one of these manholes here leading to this corridor. I'm just going to step over it. There we go. I think we might have some bathrooms. Does anyone, anyone need the loo? What have we got through here? We've got a lot of wash basins. Any cubicles? Watch out for the manhole. Oh, squat toilets. Fucking French. God. Should have known to expect that. I feel like this is another industrial area. I just don't know what this big metal box is. It's, it's on legs. Oh, can I be bothered to walk down here? Got another low access tunnel. Don't know what that was. I mean, this is an expansive area. There is a lot to see here. And bluntly, it could be, could be easy to get lost. I don't actually think that's likely because there's the entrance I came in at, but you know, I know this place goes up multiple levels, so I might have to go and check those out in a minute. Have you ever wondered what beds look like in an underground thought fort? We've got three levels of bunk beds across two dorm rooms. Very impressive. Little shelves here for personal effects. One thing I'd say about this place is that it's really quite expansive. Uh, I'm just walking down this tunnel to go back to where I've, I've come from um, and it's, it's going to be a little bit of a walk. Uh, these tunnels that they built through the French Alps to protect against the Germans, this is part of the Maginot Line. This was once a French military fort. Um, they were significant, they were big. So I've come across this steel ladder. Now the question is, do I want to go up it? You already know the answer. So I've just come up this ladder. Um, it was all right, no loose rungs. I've it's definitely climbed worse things. Um, it's about 15, 15 meters or so. Um, not so bad. I'm thinking this is this high level might be more to do with. Oh, we've got a got a turret. Shook up the turret. Well, I'm in a, a turret up here. Observation turret. You can see the real world outside. I think I've got an old speaking tube here, perhaps. And I've just come up this ladder. It's much warmer up here, but there's no way out. Onwards. So I was hoping to find a high level way out at one of these ladders because uh, I've seen that one exists somewhere. Uh, but I've been up all these ladders and it's not here. So for me that means down the big ladder again uh, and back to the basement level. Maybe back out the same way, I don't know. See how I'm feeling. So I found a lift shaft and a spiral staircase with lots of the arrows saying upwards. Should we go? We've got something here that says sortie. It's positive. Got another sign here that says help. That's positive. But if you're shitting yourself, get busy. I've just come up these like, little laddery bits and I've noticed there's some noticeably warmer air. And look, we've got some daylight. We might have a way out. So you can see the entrance I just came out of down here. I'm in this thing here and somebody's helpfully built a little staircase here for me to get up and out. And here we are, free to go as we want, do as we please. This is what the, the area looks like on top of the fort. And um, there's my van. And here's the top of the mountains. What an incredible place to come out to, right? One of the Highest passes in Europe, 2,800 meters. Maybe this is the highest level subterranean exploring I've ever done. Um, but anyway, there's my van. 
there's home, let's go get back. So earlier I visited uh, the inside of a turret. I think it could have been one of these. I don't think it's actually this one, but um, it looked like this on the surface. Concrete with this like huge cast iron metal doodars. So just some friendly reminders if you're thinking about doing this kind of thing. Don't do it on your own. Tell someone where you've gone. Uh, take a head torch. Take spare batteries. Take a spare light. Wear a helmet. Wear an oversuit. Put your wellies on. Have fun. Uh, take only photos. Leave only footprints. Don't be a dick. Try not to add to the graffiti. Uh, just general things, but always worth remembering. If you're a scared French soldier who has just spent a hard day of watching the mountains, waiting for someone to attack you, here is your swimming pool. Just imagine that for an infinity pool. Just kidding, I think it was actually a water reservoir, but fill it with water. Go for a swim. I think it's going to rain later. We should definitely turn this into a hot tub. So if you enjoy stories like this, uh, let me know because I don't really have to do it. don't really know if it's worth doing, to be honest. Uh, though I fucking love the background right now. Um, but yeah, happy to do more of these kind of like little adventure things. Um, or not. So let me know or don't. don't know if there's anything else lined up. I just happened to discover that round here there were things that I could go in and they'd be exciting.